Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBench video series. This is Tim and I'm uh, happy to say that I've got back with me today Mr. Ray Grissom, my colleague here at work. And welcome back, Ray. Thank you. Uh, just give the folks a quick reminder, what is it you, that you do for, for Pitsco? I'm a curriculum specialist and I write uh, different pe curriculum packages we use. Awesome. And so today we want to talk about specifically one of the new curriculums that you've worked, uh, worked up for uh, Tetrix specifically and even more specifically that it's the Tetrix Prime, right? Right. So let's talk a little bit about uh, first. We've had curriculum in the past for the Tetrix Max, right? Right. We've had we've had uh, engineering packages, uh, and that's been targeted more for fourteen plus or high school. High school. But with the uh, release of Tetrix Prime, we're we're happy to say that now we can kind of target more of the middle school uh, age range. So um, tell us what we've come out with for that specifically. What we've come out with uh, for the middle school kids, you know, we're we're dealing with a forty five minute class period, so the Prime is great, so we can put together things real quick. But we have uh, three STEM units. Okay. They're three weeks each, so if you get all three of those, you've got a nine week package. Okay. And each one of them is focused a little bit different area. Uh, the first one that we have out that's ready for you is uh, remote control. Okay. And all the activities are done. There's some math activities, some science activities, engineering type of activities that are done uh, using a, a remote control robot. So that's basically just the the Tetrix Prime starter kit, right? They don't Everything, need anything besides that. They, they kit, the starter kit, and we've added a couple of extra, a few more bushings because okay. we put some extra axles in. We we needed to have some more bushings in there. Put an extra servo motor in. Okay. We added a stopwatch and some things like that to go with it. Okay. But uh, basically, everything can be built out of the starter kit. Okay. So that's the first one. That's the first one. And then what's the second one? The second one is an autonomous unit. Okay, so that's and kind of a nice pro progression there, right? Pro progress along. We still use the, re the remote control for the first activity, and uh, then we take them to, we add an Arduino controller. Okay. And we add a line finder and ultrasonic sensor, and we do some activities with those. So this is going to give that teacher that wants to uh, move more into not only autonomous, but also maybe into uh, open source and the Arduino controller. There's a lot of Arduino um, users out there in the maker space, but now this is going to allow maybe a teacher to move that into the classroom, right? Right. So w let's talk about the third one now. Okay, let's go back to the second one for okay. just a moment. Uh, I forgot to mention that it use, also uses a starter set. Gotcha. And we add a controller pack that okay. has the Arduino materials in. Sounds in good. So. Sounds good. So then this, this then the third one, the, I'm, I'm trying to push you toward this push, third one. You're pushing me to that third one. Yeah, we want to get all of it in. Okay, so. the third one that we're looking that we're looking at uses the prime parts okay. and we're going to add in some max pieces okay? okay and we're going to do some activities that you might see in a manufacturing plant okay so this is going to be that real world connection that's going to make them right. make them uh, put this all together and actually give them that uh, realistic experience Real like they see on the workforce. Be, be some conveyor belt lines okay. and some, some counting activities maybe and some sorting activities. So are we calling this something special we, or are we? Well, we have a working title. We okay. don't have an official title yet. It's um, automation manufacturing. Okay. So that kind of gives the feel for what that is. So we've kind of talked about L3. Let's kind of describe a little bit about how they're delivered because we've kind of mentioned some extra things that go with these beyond just the, the set for all three units. So we're kind of giving uh, the teacher a bundle with this, right? Right. We're, we're setting this up for 24 students. Okay. And we're setting it up for teams of two students to work together. Okay. So when you, when you get the, the unit one, you get 12 starter sets. Okay. Plus the curriculum and... So everything that I need Every, as a teacher, you need. you're going to give me as part of this package. There, there'll be a few things. You might have to get some, some tape and some things okay. like that that you might use that you probably have in a classroom anyway. Okay. But some things like that. And then um, and then it's whole class. You know, everybody does everything at the same time. Not, not Nothing rotational. Okay. So all three units are going to be offered that way, right? Yes. Okay. And um, they can find these on the website. Yes, tetrixrobotics.com. If they go to uh, the top and they, there's a the link for curriculum, right. right, and the products, they'll see all of these available and they'll see the three units by themselves. Yes. 
Um, how do you, as a teacher, because you're you've got your background is is actually where you, you taught in the classroom. How do you feel about these? Are they are, you feel like they're going to be a good tool? For I the think they're going to be a good tool. Uh, they show some some math things and some science things that connections that the students might not really realize. Okay. That they're they're going to be doing math and not realize it. So they really are hitting these so, STEM so, concepts. And they're going to be doing some science things and they're not really going to realize it. And some of that we may have to point out to students. Teachers may have to point out just a little bit. Hey, you know, we're not real obvious with a couple things. You know, working on the speed formula. That's pretty. They're going to know that's math. But right. when they're lifting an object, they don't realize they're working the levers. Cool. We may have to point some of those out. Sounds, sounds good. So let's talk uh, about availability, Ray. We've talked about what they are and, and the kind of describe the contents and everything. But we've got the first two that are available now. First, first one's available first now. First now. The second one will be available um, in June, probably. Okay. And the third one will be available in uh, early August. But they can see them now described on the web yes. right now. Yes. So cool. So... We hope you found that informational. Uh, we encourage you again to go to tetrixrobotics.com. Look for those, and, and hopefully you'll see um, those as something that might be um, useful and attractive in, in your kind of classroom situation. So thanks for joining us today at tetrixrobotics.com, RoboBench. Uh, again, have fun building those robots and come back and see us.